What's up guys, welcome to the new Rockon vlog and today we're gonna do a proper road test with the new KTM 990 Duke. Renato is already getting some beauty shots of the brand new Sniper. We did already a review vlog of the 990 Duke and also Stunt Tricks, but it was just before the winter hit us so we couldn't do the road test. That's why we came here to the south of Spain, beautiful mountain regions with tons of twisties and yeah, 20 degrees. So I'm gonna take you along and we gotta see how this bike feels, performs. Let's gear up and let's start the video. I'm gonna reserve my bike like the people on the beach with a towel. So I'm gonna go with the orange 990, number 08. I'm all geared up and yeah, I'm not alone here. We have also journalists from around the globe that will try out the 990 Duke and I'm also curious what they gonna say about it. Let's roll now with a KTM 990 Duke, the sniper. What a fun first hour on the 990 Duke and yeah, my first impression right away is definitely the engine performance. I can feel the difference in the torque segment. If we compare it to the 890 Duke, it has 9 Newton meters of torque more. And how I felt it personally is actually when I exit the corner, I hear the throttle and it just pulls and pulls and pulls and keeps going and just puts a big smile on my face all the time. Next thing we're gonna focus is now the suspension. Let's adjust it a bit because I feel on the front is a bit too soft. So we have on the front a 43 WP Apex suspension, compression and rebound adjustable. So I'm just gonna go one click on the compression because I want it a bit harder and rebound is okay and on the rear we have a WP Apex monoshock and it's a rebound 5 click adjustable and preload 10 clicks I just need to find some tools here in this little compartment here we have it here so we can adjust this little bolt here soft hard it says one click okay. I like the suspension a bit harder, definitely a big difference just with one click. And we also come to a point to why just one click and a big difference that so doesn't sound that logical because we are used to m more options. But the WP engineers decided to make it easier for a reg regular rider to adjust the suspension without knowing all the clicks and all the little details that you should feel when you change the suspension. So I think it's a very good upgrade. Definitely feels well planted with that suspension. And yeah, I feel really safe and I can go hard on the bike, hard in the corners. Oh, man, ah, that bicycle rider is almost faster than me. Okay, this was the suspension. It felt really, as I said, planted on the road. This is my friend Rian. He's hey the, guys. You remember him from the SMT video. He's the marketing boss of the KTM group. And yeah, Rian, what's your favorite? Uh, you've been also hitting the twisties for two days straight. What's your one thing that you like on the 990 Duke? Has to be the engine. Engine also? Yeah, yeah. super torquey. Uh, I mean, 103 Newton meters of torque. Uh, and 123 horsepower. So for me, for public road, you definitely don't need more than yeah. that. And it makes a good sound. I, cool. I, I agree, yeah, yeah. that pops when you shift down and yeah, yeah, yeah. really amazing. Oh, one thing I'll, I'll just say, because I like the 890 so much, I like, I, I like the stability of this bike. It feels more, a bit more grown up, but still super agile. Uh -huh. um, more, more naked bike, less motard. It's impressive. I was actually 
thinking of buying a Super Duke. Okay. And I thought, I rode this and I thought, maybe I don't need a Super Duke. Uh -huh. Maybe this is all you need. You know, it's it's basically a Super Duke, but with a little less grunt. Okay, yeah, it's, it's actually true. It's closing up that gap between the 890 and yeah. the Super I mean, Duke a bit. Even riding it looking down, it, it looks like a Super Duke. The riding position feels like a Super Duke. It's just a little bit less grunt, but for the road, it's it's spot on. Even the brakes, I thought the brakes were, were going to be a bit substandard, but they're fantastic. You know? Okay, so okay. What they could do with the R, I don't know. <laughs> this is good. Now I would like to try the track mode, which is meant, as the name says, for the track, but we are here on the public road because there is a interesting feature it measures your lean angle and also the tft display turns into a nice red racy color and it shows less information but important for the racetrack for us important now is the lean angle and i would like to see what's my maximum on that road i will be safe i promise Chris from Bike World, the day is over. Yeah, full day of riding on the 990 Duke. Uh, I heard today a lot about the engine and the torque. And a simple question, beside that, what's your favorite one or two things about the Sniper? There are bikes that within three quarters, yeah. you know you're gonna love, and it didn't even take that with this. There's like one corner, the thing feels so easy to ride. And I think you, know, you can have the craziest bikes in the world, the lariest bikes in the world, but if they're awkward when you get on them, it takes a long time to build the confidence. But the, yeah, the 890 Duke before this and this one even more so, I got on it and straight away, like we pulled out of the car park, straight to wheelie, straight to back in, straight to knee down, like yeah. <laughs> perfect. I think that was my biggest thing. I love that. I love it. it's got a bit of Jekyll and Hyde about it now as well. Like it has a really, really nice character when, you, when you're done hooning around, feel old yeah you can shift to sick but like it's you can cruise it's, right you can cruise yeah yeah i felt like, the same thing just it's not just all edge yeah yeah, it's yeah. A real cruise and then so, so it's more like it's uh, for both types of riders you can be a hooligan and you can also cruise on it yeah, more than ever before i think that's True. the biggest improvement i think from the 890 is now this thing has the ability to be at this end doing the crazy shit yeah and then at this end you can just ride it nicely on the road like they've done an amazing job of that thank you chris for sharing your thoughts no worries, man. and if you thought i'm gonna end this vlog without any wheelies or stoppies you're wrong enjoy them thanks for watching see you next time until then rock on